Hello, welcome to another Burgundy with Tweedy video. Today, some Vone Romane. This is another wine from that mix case I recently bought from Seckford, a producer called Domaine Joanne. And it's a 2019 vintage. Generally had a reasonably good time with 2019s so far. It is shaping up to be quite a nice vintage with echoes of 2017, I think. That sort of more elegant style not as big, hot and jammy as 2018. This was another fairly reasonably priced bottle, if I recall correctly. I was just shopping at the uh, the cheap end of the spectrum at Seckford. They do have some eye-wateringly expensive bottles there. I think they're probably more geared towards, you know, collectors and people at the very high end of the, the fine wine market. I'm at the, the low end of the fine wine market, I suppose. Okay, medium-ish sort of colour there. Quite a nice colour, actually. Don't know how well that's coming across on camera. Mmm. Now, um, the, um, <laughs> again, pot of baked beans, you can probably see the, the steam from it wafting across there. So that might be affecting my um, nosing a little bit. I need to give that a stir, actually. That has a nice floral sort of a nose to begin with. And this is exactly the sort of thing I look for in Vone Romane, particularly. I want sort of elegance, finesse, perfume, floral notes. I would say, I always say this, don't I, but um, floral notes in Burgundy are usually somewhere between violet and rose are the two key floral notes that you would look for in a Burgundy. I think I would veer slightly more to the side of violet here. That's really pretty. Uh, and there's definitely some fruit there, sort of delicate red berry fruit, maybe cherry, but also I'm tempted to say blueberries. That may just be because I was picking blueberries off the, uh, the bush in my back garden last night. That is lovely. Really pretty, dainty, soft, elegant, floral and um, quite refined fruit notes there on the nose. Again, on the palate, it's refined, elegant, lovely acidity, really nice balance there. Interestingly, it's not dry, but it's also certainly not sweet either. <laughs> I suppose that's just good balance, isn't it? I don't know how to describe that other than saying it's really nicely balanced. And the tannins are barely existent at the moment. It's not light, but I would say it's very delicate, refined, elegant. One of those sorts of wines. Turn the baked beans off. <laughs> I'm not getting that uh, interference. So maybe now I am picking up the very, very slightest hint of spice and or tannin, but it, that sort of has also a kind of perfumed and slightly sweet note to it, interestingly. It's more like the kind of spice you might use in, in baking for cakes and such, like sort of, I don't know, it doesn't actually taste of ginger, but that sort of, you know, subtle gingery type note. Nice silky, velvety mouthfeel there as well. That's really lovely. I'm um, really pleased with that. Perfume, floral, delicate, elegant, really nicely balanced, not overpowered with any unusual tertiary notes or um, certainly not the, the tannins are very much in check. There's a tiny, tiny hint of spice, but that's very delicate and subtle and blends very nicely with everything else. I, I think that's another success. I seem to be doing surprisingly well with this case from Seckford. It's a bit of a trial actually getting it in the first 10 days or something from placing the order to when the final bottle arrived. It came in two shipments in the end. But uh, worth the wait, I think I would say now. That's um, really, really nice. Cheers.